things I, I love my Bermuda grass, but it's getting into some places that I don't need it to get in my, in my flower beds, in my driveway. Sure. What should I do about that? Uh, the first product that we'll talk about this morning is the high yield grass killer, because that product is used to control the Bermuda grass out of your flower beds and out of your vegetable gardens. Uh, in other words, you can spray it right over the top of your plants, and it won't hurt your plants, but it will control the Bermuda grass. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, very, very much so. And what else do we have? A lot of people have problems with their fescue or bluegrass yards with Bermuda coming into those areas. And the product called High Yield Turflon Ester will help control it out of your fescue and out of your bluegrass. I see. Um, does a very, very good job. It won't hurt the fescue or the bluegrass, but it will control the Bermuda. Okay. A lot of people have Bermuda grass yards and they like them, like yours, for instance. Right. And you've got a lot of uh, things growing in there that you don't want. So we've got a new product called Image, which is a fantastic product to keep the Bermuda grass, but kill everything else that's in it. How do you get all this done? What do you put with it? We really recommend a pump-up sprayer. We just feel like it's the best way to control it is to use a pump-up sprayer. Or a lot of people, if you don't have a big area, will just get a little hand sprayer and mix it up and just keep it on hand so they can spray around their flowers and stuff as that Bermuda starts to come out. Always add some spreader sticker to whatever type of sprayer that you use. That just helps uh, stick it to that Bermuda grass better and help kill it better. Hey, James, this is our last program for the year, but we'll still be here after this is over. So thanks for joining us and come see us. For plants that grow the best, come to the folks who know the best at Panhandle Greenhouses just south of the Cloud Highway on Washington Street.